Hi, we're going to take a look at adding plugins and widgets to your blog and EduBlogs. So the first thing you need to do is go to your dashboard, which from here, you actually could go directly to widgets, but we're going to go to the dashboard so you can see both. Okay, this is my dashboard. And since I have a pro account, all of my student blogs are also listed directly from my dashboard, which is kind of convenient. All right, so now EduBlogs has both plugins, which affect the functionality of your blog. Okay, so for example, if I add um, a contact form, okay, that's a, a function, you know, and you can see it, but it also, mostly it does something. If I want to add a Google Maps plugin, it's not going to do anything unless I actually add the map, but the, the script will be there inside the blog waiting for me to use it or to make it easier to add images. So most of the time, plugins you don't necessarily see. Although, like the 3D Tag Cloud, uh, you definitely would see it. So let's go ahead and, and activate it. Okay, and now it's activated, so it's going to show up in widgets. And again, widgets are what we use to change the appearance of the blog. So we go to Appearance and Widgets. All right, so we have, uh, this is the tag cloud that we just activated. So all we need to do is drag it over to our sidebar. And I think uh, I want to put it on the second sidebar. My blog has two sidebars. Right, so I can add it there, and I can title it. I don't have to title it. I can probably just leave it as is. Okay, and now if I want to go see what it looks like, just go back over to my blog, and it should be down at the bottom. Yep, there it is. It's a rotating tag cloud. All right, and those are all the tags that I've used on my blog. So I can move it with my cursor. If I click on the tag, then it brings up posts that were labeled with that tag. All right. Now, the next thing I want to do is add a third party. Okay, so I can add something that I find in another location, a third party widget. So I'm going to add a cluster map, which shows me how many people have visited. So I get the address from my blog, put it here, uh, I use my email address so I can uh, set up an account so I can keep track of how many visitors in an archive my account with cluster maps. Um, I'm just going to get the map for now, but later on I would go back to my email and use the link to set up my account with cluster map. And I can just copy the text. I go back to my blog and I go back to widgets. And in order to add something like that, all I need to do is take a text box and put it, I'm going to want to add it to my sidebar too. So I just take the text box and move it over here. And the code that I just copied and pasted, I put here and save. All right, and that's all I need to do to add that. Now, the other thing that I can do is I can change the order. So, for example, I don't want to have the meta information up at the top like login, so I can move it down to the bottom here and it'll save it automatically in place. So, now that I've done that, all I need to do is go back to the front of my blog and see how everything looks. Okay, so here is the tag cloud that I added. Here's the cluster map that I added. And now here's the meta information at the bottom of the sidebar that I moved. And that is all that there is to it. So have fun adding plugins and widgets to your blog. And I look forward to seeing how you make it look.